hello students how you all are i hope you all are fine uh, in this video i am going to describe motion motion chapter motion and uh, first let me tell you what is uniform and non uniform motion so uniform motion is a motion in which an object moves equal distance in equal interval of time okay suppose a car is moving uh, in one second if it is moving 5 km uh, uh, suppose in one second it is moving 500 meter in the next one second it is also moving 500 meter in the third second also moving 500 meter so this type of motion is uniform motion and non uniform motion is a motion in which okay an object covers unequal distances in equal interval of time suppose a car in one second goes okay 500 meter in the next second it goes 100 meter in the third second it goes 200 meter then the motion is non uniform here what happens what what you see here that the motion the distance covered is unequal in the equal interval of time therefore this type of motion is known as non uniform motion and you know the speed you know the distance covered by the time taken is called the speed and the speed is measured measured by odometer odometer okay odometer is fitted in in, in in vehicles so that measures how much distance is covered okay how much distance is covered and the si unit of the speed is meter per second now and uh, uh, to specify the speed of a of an object we require only its magnitude for example 5 meter per second what is 5 5 is the magnitude and meter per second is the unit so in order to specify the speed of an object we require only magnitude so okay and speed is a scalar quantity because it has no direction therefore it is a scalar quantity and uh, now the average speed is how much here how do we measure the average speed so the average speed is the uh, total distance traveled by the total time taken suppose okay someone goes from bokaro to dhanbad and if it takes 2 hours okay so the total distance okay from bokaro to dhanbad divided by the total time taken means 2 hours so that will give you the speed of the car it is okay and what is velocity so velocity is a speed in a particular direction is called velocity both speed and velocity have the same unit si unit meter per second and in this case velocity has both magnitude and direction therefore velocity is a scalar quantity or it has a direction because velocity is a speed in a particular direction therefore velocity has a scalar quantity and the average velocity how do we measure the average velocity we measure the average velocity by initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 divided by 2 and that gives a, okay average velocity and next it is and oh, now the acceleration what is acceleration so acceleration is a rate of the change of the velocity is called acceleration if the velocity is changing okay that produces acceleration so how do we measure acceleration so acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by the time taken 
isn't it here divided by the time taken it is so we can measure acceleration so i just i'm showing you now see here the average speed and the average velocity how to find the average speed and average velocity it's okay it is like this okay it's clear this is acceleration so the rate of the change of the velocity is called acceleration okay so it is a is equal to v by u okay today this much